Ariel Adams here with theblogtree.com. This is a Swiss Cubic. Swiss watch winder. It's a cube. It's very cool. It's very high end. A little bit pricey, but this is a great model. Uh, it's hard to find something as cool as this and as modern. Usually, you know, even though watch winders are a relatively new thing, they all feel like they were designed 30 years ago and not really updated for the modern world. You know, as you can see right here, small uh, micro USB or that mini USB. I forget. Small USB um, port right there. That's for charging and hooking up to your computer. It comes with software. Well, you have to download the software. And you can change all sorts of things like uh, the programming, the amount of rotations, all sorts of cool stuff like this. This movement inside of here is really, really hard. So if this thing is running, you can stop it with your finger and it won't break. See how that little light turned red there? I'm tilting it. It doesn't want to be tilted. It knows when it's tilted. So it wants to be straight like that when turning it. But you can turn it at all angles. You can stack them. You can do all sorts of cool stuff like that. You never really need to hook it up to your computer if you don't want to. But if you're a crazy enthusiast and like to do that stuff, by all means. It's got a battery in here which is good for several years. I want to say at least three years. Um, it's got two lithium ions on here that you can replace. You've got to unscrew the back here. Battery, battery. And what I like is the switch right here, it'll, uh, it glows to tell you different things. So it'll glow with a special color when the battery's dying. So you don't have to sit there and, and it just stops one day and you don't know. You get a, a pretty good amount of notice. Um, Swiss Cubic watch winders are made in Switzerland with all Swiss parts and a couple of French parts. And the French parts are cool because they're parts from the auto industry. Uh, the French auto industry, so they're really high quality. And this thing really is made nicely. Good materials. This one is the leather wrapped one, um, which is nice. And they come with all these colors and, and these uh, sort of like wrappers that give them all sorts of different designs and things like that. Um, it's a nice little uh, sort of cover here to protect it. Um, I like this thing because it's only as big as it needs to be. It's got a lot of good functions. It's very user-friendly user and obvious. It's got a durable movement that isn't going to crap out on you really quick, which is the problem with the Chinese ones. Um, it's kind of pricey, like I said. It costs, I think starting price is $595, and this leather one is six hundred and ninety five dollars so it is it is a little bit of an expensive item but it's quite good here's a little watch connector um, problem with this is it does not work for the smallest of the small watches or the largest of the large watches it's sort of a a medium you know for for what's everything's in the middle I happen to have small wrists so it works well on a watch like this with a strap that I can adjust my bracelets are actually a little bit too small to go around here likewise if you have really really big wrists um, you might have some issues but that's something which is the case with I would say almost all watch winders they're made for um, most watches not all of them but this should satisfy most people very good option if you um, want to spend the money on it uh, you really can't go too wrong because they really got quality in mind no frills just a good well-made long-lasting watch winder from Swiss Cubic you can read the full review at a blog to read .com. thanks